Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Matru's Travel. I'm Matru and today I'm gonna show you a few things you can do on a day trip in Genoa, Italy. So number one is actually right in front of me. So I'm gonna turn around and you can see it right now. It's like the Cathedrale di San Lorenzo. I hope I say it right. So basically it's in the middle of the medieval town of Genoa and this cathedral basically has the remainings of the John the baptizer the one who baptized Jesus exactly and apparently there's also like the silver platter in there which his head was presented on to see that you have to pay uh, I think it was 10 euro for the ticket but it is quite interesting special especially for people who are interested in this kind of things Otherwise, the cathedral itself, I'm gonna go a little bit um, closer to it. You can see it's really remarkable. You can see uh, the stonework here with the blue and the white stones, or more like greenish instead of blue. But here, like, wow. So, just look at the pillars. I'm gonna zoom in. This is really, really beautiful. Wow. So, we go up and there's the tower. You can also go for free inside the church. You won't see any of the relics, unfortunately. Uh, you have to pay for them. But you can like see the inside of the cathedral, which is really impressive. Like you also have kind of like the same stonework in there. Um, but like the ceiling, it's really weird. It's like white. I can show you a photo of it right now. You can see it here on my side. You see like the beautiful artwork there. And when you go up to the ceiling, it's white. And there's like also another photo here. You can see it even more with the white ceiling. It's a little bit odd. Um, I think it's because it got um, built in different areas, so this might be the reason for it. But it's actually quite cool. I really like it and it's definitely a place worth checking out. And also like here in this area here, we're like in the middle of the old town. So one thing I can suggest you to do is like to really just go here and get lost, don't use a map, just walk around in the little streets. There's so much to see here, so many beautiful shops, so many houses that are like really impressive and unique to see, like the architecture here is incredible. So when you're here, really just get lost in the city. It's the best thing you can do. And yeah, I just uh, quickly, there's also like there's some statues here. There's like the lion statue, which is quite beautiful. And here it's being renovated, but I think that's like kind of like a dragon statue here. It's also cool to see. So just as a side note. And also here, if you go up the street right here, we're gonna go to the second thing you can see. So, and we are at the second thing you can see on a day trip in Genoa. It's the Vico Dritto Ponticello. I hope I said it right. Um, basically, here's the name. Um, yeah, Dritto Ponticello. It should be right. So, why this place is so important to see is uh, the one thing you have the city gates here, which are really quite impressive with the towers. So basically here is the end of the medieval town of Genoa and just look at the towers. Wow. They're really cool. There are also still leftovers of the old city wall which is like here. This part here is already completely removed as you can see. So there isn't too much left. But also there is more to see of course. So if you walk a little bit down can already see it there's a little public garden which actually isn't really a public garden but it's like the leftovers of um, an abbey so basically I'm gonna turn around and ta-da so here nice so this is the 
Abbey of Sant Andrea or like what's left of it. It's not really much. I think that's more like the garden in the middle of the Abbey. And I think the Abbey was like more like around um, here where my finger is. But you see there's like nothing left. Just a garden here. And it basically had been restored. So you can see here. It's quite old. It's really nice. When you go up, you can see the towers again. Um, yeah, there is nothing in here. It's still, it's really cool. So, but that's not all. There is one more thing to see here. Sorry about the noise, by the way, but there is like a busy street around here. So we just walk a little bit further down. Can already see it. So here, it's the house where Christopher Columbus grew up. So I'm gonna turn around again. It has been renovated like entirely. There's also not too much to see in here, and all the information you have in there to see, um, you find it on the internet anyway. So there's not new information or anything, but like here you can see some dresses and clothes. Um, that's basically it. I mean, it's not even 100% proven that he really grew up in this house here. So um, yeah, you know, but it's still quite an interesting place to see. So, and that was the second thing. So. And now the third thing you can see in Genoa, it's the neighborhood of Bocadasse. I hope I say it right, if not, here's the name. Um, anyway, it's um, actually a fisher, fishing village. Uh, or it was, because uh, Genova expanded a lot and now it's part of the neighborhood of Genova. And it's like a really picturesque village. Like when you look here, so basically here is the church can see like the yellow building and the tower and when you go slowly down there um, and you turn around you can see the actual village and when you look at that it's incredible so like here you can see the sea how um, the beach is basically connected with the village itself you might recognize it. It looks a little bit like the fishing village in um, Luca, the Disney Pixar movie. You might have seen it. And basically, in the area where we are now, if you go further into the east, we have a village after village after village, all looking quite similar. Um, it's quite a famous region for that. So uh, Disney Pixar basically um, took this image of those beautiful villages and put them into a movie. And I mean, it's a quite a great movie. Whew, it's a bit windy today as well. So you might hear a bit of noise, but anyway, to get here to the village, you can walk, definitely. It takes around one hour. So it might be a bit too much for, the, for many people. But don't worry, there is a bus you can take. I think there are even like two or three buses you can take from the city center of Genoa to here and back. So if you don't want to walk for an hour, don't worry about it. But definitely check this place here out. It's really, really beautiful. Like those colorful houses, the way it's built and it goes or like connects with the water. It's beautiful. So, and if you walk to here, basically there's a promenade you can take from the ancient harbor to here. Um, it's quite beautiful as well, like I took a quick video of it, like you can see the promenade you can walk on. There are a lot of beaches right beside of it and it's a really, really beautiful walk you can do. So I definitely recommend you to really instead of taking the bus to really just walk here if your time allows it yeah so and that's uh, thing number three you can see on a day tour in Chinoa and let's go to number four 
So, and we are at number four. It was a long way. Uh, my feet are hurting and I can't walk anymore. But here we finally are. And right behind me, you can already see some of the attractions of the actual harbor. So this is the original harbor of the city of Genoa. And here you can see like right behind me here, there's like the aquarium. It's the biggest aquarium in all of Italy and one of the biggest in Europe. It's so big, uh, you need a whole day to actually see uh, everything in there. So uh, I can recommend you to go there on a day tour. If you have another day free, then yes, definitely check it out. Also there is like the biosphere um, right here. Yeah, here. Um, basically, there are like uh, plants that usually don't grow here um, from tropical countries, which you can see. So right on the other way here, you have like the big plaza. There is a bridge. Um, to be honest, it is quite ugly. Like you have like the Victorian style houses right behind of it, which are really pretty. But the bridge just destroys the whole view. But in a way I understand because it made space for like this huge plaza here. And you can see it's gigantic. So the people can just like walk around everywhere, which is quite nice. There's also a palace right behind there. You can see it here, which is really impressive. You have like an elevator there. Ah, it's going up as well. It has like a panoramic view over the old town and the harbor area, which is quite nice. And on the other side, um, right here, you have like a um, Spanish galleon or a copy of it. It's like from the 17th century. The copy was made for a movie called Pirate um, from 1985 and it's still here to be seen, which is quite nice. And yeah, this area here, it's really, really cool. Like, especially in the afternoon when people are coming out, um, it's getting quite crowded actually. And you can experience like the life of the Italians here, which is really nice. Okay, so this is thing number four. And let's go to number five. So, and I'm finally back in the hostel. I'm so happy that I can finally sit. I can't feel my feet anymore. Now the fifth thing. It's not really a place this time, it's something else. It's also not the hostel here, don't worry. It's this one here, Pesto Genovese. So I mean, you can get pesto anywhere, but nowadays it's like an industrialized product with a lot of potato flakes and cheap oils in it. But this one here, that's the original. So it has like the olive oil, it has uh, Chinovese Basil, um, then of course the um, uh, Granapada uh, cheese, let's just, just say cheese. Um, then the, um, these pine cones or these uh, pine um, seeds, a bit of salt and garlic and that's basically it. Let's see how this one actually is. Wow, the smell. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try some. So it has like this green color. It's quite nice. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Wow. So. It has a, a really creamy texture, nearly like whipped cream in a way. Not exactly, but sort of like it. And mm. oh my gosh, the taste! You taste the cheese, you taste the basil. Mm. Oh gosh, I have to eat more. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I need to buy more of this. It's, wait. Mm. Wow. So good. So, really, if you go to Chinoa, you have to buy one of these. Like, um, where you can get them, it's actually really easy. Pretty much every store is selling them. Just look in the refrigerators, they look kinda like this. 
So if you see a box like this, that's the original one. Check the ingredients. There's also like really just the stuff in there that should be in there and enjoy it. So these were the five things or places you can see in Genoa. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.